Hi, and welcome to our walkthrough for importing your bank statements to Crunch. Before we begin, I would strongly recommend checking out Open Banking if you haven't done so already. This will actually save you from doing this altogether, so I'll pop a link to that in the description and at the top of this video. So let's get started. First of all, head over to Accounts and Cards. Now, this is of course your banking dashboard, and this is where you're going to need to upload your bank statements to before you can start doing bank reconciliation. On screen, you're going to see essentially what is the format of the bank statements and how Crunch is going to read that information on your statement. So as we can see, there's a, a date column, a description, an in and an out column, and that's on the current card. But with a MasterCard, which is a credit card, they've been sort of merged together. You've still got the date and the description. However, the amounts are combined. So you've got both in and out in one column. When you download your CSV files from your bank, they are not going to look like this initially. Okay, you're, you're going to have many columns in that CSV statement, a lot of which are completely useless and can just be removed. What you're seeing on screen at the moment is effectively all you need. When you actually go to upload the statement, you just go to upload statement as shown here. You then choose the bank account that you want to upload it for pick the file from your computer and then go to upload. Crunch is gonna generate a preview of that statement. And as we can see, we've got the date, the reference column, which is just the description. And we've also got paid in and paid out as a combined column. You can actually change these filters here. So if your CSV file is perhaps an in column and an out column, you can of course change that. So we've got the date running from oldest to newest. We've got our descriptions in the amounts. Once you're happy with that and it's analyzed, you can just go to import statement. The system's then gonna import it and you'll get a confirmation message that that's all been done. Now at this stage, you can either just import it and just leave it as that, or you can head on over to import and start reconciling. And then that will take you through to bank reconciliation.